Hey guys, Dr. Drunk, AKA here for a, for you guys with a game in my tier six premium German destroyer, the T61. We're on fault line. We're on the A spawn and we're divved up with farting chicken as arc Royal and triple nerfed in his Fabuki. Now, what do you need to know about the T61? Well, T61 is, she's a really good boat. She's a really, really, really good ship. Uh, as you can see, torpedo reload is somewhere in the neighborhood of about a minute and 10 seconds, around 70, 72 seconds, something like that. And I, I don't remember if I have torpedo armament expertise. I believe I do have torpedo armament expertise on this captain. It's, is it, I think, yeah, it is. It's my Z52 captain, so, Yeah. This, uh, this boat has TAE, so that gets your reload down to uh, right around 70, 72 seconds, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, what else to know, though? She has uh, four by one, I think these are 127 millimeter guns, something like that. I, I, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but she does get the quarter pen German high explosive as of patch 9.5. So, the pen on these guns is no joke. In fact, the pen on these guns is good enough for most same-tier cruisers and even some higher-tier cruisers. And, you know, in this case, we are in a Tier 7 game, so we're going to see a little bit of those higher-tier ships. Not really many on this side, but you'll see that HE pen come in later. Also has 4-kilometer hydro, which is important to note. Helps you sit in smoke and do whatever you're going to do in smoke without fear of being torpedoed. Uh, trip scares the shit out of me here with those torps right across my bow. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to push this cap. We got two cruisers here. Uh, we see a smoke and suddenly... Wait a minute. I'm spotted. Nothing outspots me except for the kamikaze. And... Oh, there he is. Of course it is. And those of you who know me at all, you know that I hate kamikazes. I, um, kamikazes are, let's be honest, there's no easy, nice way to put this. We're going to drop Torps out on that McCoyan because he appears to be rail sailing there. Um, Hydro's up and we see the kamikaze Torps coming in, so we're going to shoot right for the gap. <clears throat> I, um, I hate kamikazes and kamikaze ours because they are so frequently played by seal clubbers as that kamikaze nukes trip with a pair of torps. Kamikaze, in fact, on the stream, which we do play all of these games on our Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash drdrunkaka. Uh, we play a game called the How Many Games in the Kamikaze Are? And there's our first dev strike uh, as we get two torps on that McCoyan, and he goes back to port relatively quickly. And a kamikaze pops up, so we're going to... We're going to let our guns free, even though we got four people aiming at us. We're going to let our guns go and um, basically just blink away at him a little bit. Try and do some chip damage, turn away, and live to fight again. <clears throat> but as I was saying, kamikazes, we do play the game of how many games in the kamikaze. If you come within ten games of how many games that player has, I give you a weekend pass. Uh, just for the fact that kamikaze in the kamikaze are and the fujin are just such absurdly prevalent seal clubbing ships. Um, <clears throat> and you, um, yeah, we have some really cranky players in the Visby on the other side. <clears throat> so suddenly we're down a ship and I'm spotted, but what the hell am I spotted? Oh, really? Okay. All right. I do hate kamikazes and that's going to be the first thing that I go after. Now this guy, I don't know why he does this. I really don't know why he does this. He was completely undetected. Uh, all he had to do was stay undetected. <clears throat> was either to smoke up or not shoot, but he um, he does me a huge favor. And he shoots. Chick knows exactly where to go to go after him. He's uh, he is low. He's real low. Uh, a little bit of desync there as that seems to fall well short, well long of him. Um, and still, yeah. I don't know. In any case, now we have a Fubuki. That Fubuki is air spotted. So, well, 
I'm going to assume those torps are coming, but I am going to just sit here and blink away at this guy and see if we can shut him down. Would be really, really nice to be able to get our uh, our third kill. And you can see the damage. You can see the work that these, these guns do with their IFHE. These shells hurt, folks. And speaking of third kills, there's, there's our third kill. <clears throat> the Emerald wants to push, and uh, perfectly obliged for him to push, I'm assuming here. Well, you know what? If that Fubuki torpedoed me, he's not going to get me now because I'm on the way out. And of course, <clears throat> the Emerald is doing something that I've seen happen so, so frequently in the last maybe three patches. This was patch 0.9.5, but maybe the last three patches or so. I must have missed a memo um, about <clears throat> how people don't want to stop at smoke screens anymore. They just drop the smoke and YOLO right out of the smoke screen. I mean, I, I, I must have missed that memo. I obviously wasn't party to that discussion point because Emerald does it and he feeds me, you know, my fourth kill in less than six minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll take it, trading 6,000 hit points for four kills. Yeah, not a problem. I, uh, I'd say we earned our keep today. <clears throat> but there's always something left to do. I mean, we're up six ships to three. We're up hit points, and you know, we're, we're finally getting back a cap that they've been holding for most of the game. So you would think, well, there's not a whole lot else to, not a whole lot else to do here. Right? Oh dear. Is that is that Koenig just sitting there up against the rock? Oh he sure is. Oh, our Dallas has tons of hit points. No worries. We're gonna pop the hydro anyway, just in case our Dallas gets nuked here. We'll keep our spotting, but that Koenig is uh, doing Koenig things. He's um, um, sitting at, on the rock, and um, he's doing, well, he's shooting HE. Well, it's, it's a good try. I mean, I guess if that works for you. Well, we're quick. We're speedy. We're almost 40 knots. Let's see if we can cause some havoc here. Why not? Good old secondary German, uh, German secondaries here. He's going to actually take a pot shot at us right, uh, right about here. Yeah, his rear guns. Of course he's firing HE. Does not knock out the torps. We angle our torps so we get a couple of those torps into the rear quarter of that ship and a bunch into the front to make sure we don't hit a saturated portion. And a dev strike, 30,000 points damage and our Kraken. So... Pretty good day's work, boys. Got ourselves a uh, Kraken, two dev strikes, and six torpedo hits, a couple of fires, and uh, we got our even selves a, got a cap. But <clears throat> we essentially steamrolled one flank on our own with a little bit of spotting help from our CV. So, with that being said, is is T sixty one a good boat? Mm, yeah, yeah. T-61's a good boat. She has a few shortcomings. Her maneuverability is marginal. Her maneuverability is not particularly great. Her uh, her AA is... <laughs> um, well, let's put it this way. Her AA is forgettable at best. That's about the only way I can say it. The, the, the big thing to, to take away from the T-61, and really since 0.9.5, the addition of quarter pen on her high explosive shells makes her a really competent damage dealer. And um, she, uh, listen, I, she's borderline overpowered. Uh, in this state. The, um, you know, Wargaming will say that, and uh, it's worth, 
it's worth pointing out. A CV capping. World of Warships 2020, boys. CVs capping uh, middle caps. Lol. And doing it efficiently, too. <clears throat> um, in this iteration, after getting the, the quarter pen, Wargaming had said, you know, German DDs are not really competitive. They need a bit of a buff. Uh, how do we buff them? How do we make them more effective and more useful? And the solution was to give everything from, I think it was a T61 in the gate, everything at that point up, quarter pen on its HE. It probably helps in terms of balancing the tech tree ships. The T61 was already very strong with a, a 6.1 kilometer surface detectability and 8 kilometer fast reloading torps. I do mean fast. 70 seconds uh, with torpedo armament is an extremely quick reload. And the ability to almost 2 kilometers of stealth, to stealth torp range is actually really, really good. And in fact, yeah, it's, it's, this is actually, it's actually 61 seconds, guys. It's 61 seconds on the torpedo reload. So that kind of torpedo reload, almost two kilometers of stealth Neither torpedo range. T61's almost, almost broken at this point. I mean, to be perfectly honest, the T-61 is, is disgustingly powerful in this iteration. And you can see that, you know, that Ranger, we're actually getting HE Citadels. Now, granted, it's a Ranger, and you can pretty much HE Citadel it with pea shooters, basically. We get a, there's our Confederate with a torpedo hit on the Iron Duke. Uh, but we have, guys, that's seven HE sits on a Ranger. It's, a, it's, it's eight. That's gross, man. That's just disgusting. Um, and of course, our torpedoes are all freeload again. And the Piotr swipes that kill from us. Not able to kill the piggy, but it does bump us up to 97,000 points damage. And this Iron Duke, for some reason, decides he wants to back up. I'm okay. Uh, whatever works for you, bud. But the T-61, to be perfectly honest, this ship is, this ship is, is kind of broken in its current iteration. Um, you know, you, you could probably say that any ship in, a, in good hands can be kind of broken. Um, but the, the T-61 with a quarter pen, it, it just, with a quarter pen, those fast reloading torps, She's just a, she's a monster. She is an absolute, absolute monster. Anyway, that is victory. 103,000 points of damage. We, uh, we earned ourselves a Confederate, a pair of Dev Strikes, and a Kraken Unleashed. Seven torpedo hits, five kills. Got ourselves a cap and nine HE Citadels on that poor, unfortunate Ranger. That stat line is good enough for top of the team with 1,953 base XP. Next closest person being 1,501 base XP. Guys, as I said earlier, we do play all of these games on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash drdrunk, a.k.a. So go ahead and stop on over there and drop a follow. And don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. It helps the channels out quite a bit. Until then, Dr. Drunk, a.k.a. signing off. See ya.